Ready for a few slides? One question. What is your the originality of the word for home? Ah, I, I didn't say that. Um, uh, the Pima, um, Harold Gladwin and Emil Howey were the first to discover this culture, this um, a red on brown pottery, as it was called, and they needed the name. And they asked, um, they dug this site of Snake Town up on the Gila River, and they asked the Pimas who were working for them, what do you call this culture? And they sort of went, Hobokong. And so they named it Hobokong. Hobokong means those that have gone before. So we don't know what the Hobokong called themselves. Yes, that's another definition. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah the Hobokam were not here when the Spanish came. The Pima knew of them, but I don't think actually interacted with them um, that we can find evidence of. Be nice if we could hide the last pit house that had both in it, but that hasn't happened yet. So, <coughs> can everybody see? Whether you can read it or not, I don't know. But um, the stippled area is the land of the whole Kong. It actually should go into Mexico. It doesn't stop there. And there are cultures in Mexico that lived at the same time the Hobokong did. And in Nogales, you have a trading area because some of the sites, one I worked on, is half Hobokong and half Trincheras. And this is the Trincheras area here. And they had a uh, purple on red pottery as their signature for Hallmark. Trincheras purple on red. Next. This is what the archaeologist finds on the ground when they're out looking or surveying for sites. You just look for something that shouldn't be there naturally. And to us, after training, each one of these potsherds looks like they're painted chartreuse to us. It just goes boing, 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 boing. And the chipped stone as well that are flaked off of cobbles and used for knives and scrapers and whatnot. I brought a couple of those with me today too, so you could see. Here's a painted pottery, a piece of pottery, with the red. And they only had red paint on pottery, hematite or specular hematite. That's all they used for their, where, as you probably know, up north you get the black on white and the black on reds. And um, there were a few polychromes down here, but not much. And my favorite pottery is a salado type. It's black on white on red. And very attractive. But everybody who works in the Hohokam works with what they got. And all those people up north with the black and white pity us because we don't have much to work with. <laughs> so, whatever. And the, that's just fine. And the uh, uh, stone that we have down here is not the best for making tools with. But the volcanic stone, fine-grained basalt, is very good, very sturdy. And then you import other uh, rhyolites and um, jaspers and agates for fine stuff. This is what a prehistoric and historic site might look like. And you've got um, glass and tin cans overlaid. This is a sensor piece of uh, Hobokong ware. So uh, we like to live where they lived. And you do find a small tells over here, nothing like you get in the old world, uh, because we haven't had the length of time to build them up so high. But you can get um, archaic and Hobokong, um, maybe Apache, maybe Aldong, uh, Spanish, and downtown Tucson, we did that, Mexicans and Spanish, Spanish and Mexican, and uh, Chinese and Anglo, all stacked up in about four feet. How deep is this thing? Uh, for Hobokam, 
sites don't go much deeper than about two feet. So they're basically surface. And they're easy to find because they are surface. And room outlines, if you scrape the surface, either shovel scrape or bulldoze scrape, the outlines of the houses stand out like somebody went in and painted them. So it's very easy to dig your site that way. Next. Uh, this is the site of Snake Town during its first excavation in 1934-35, done by uh, the Gila Pueblo Foundation in Globe. And it's a huge site, it covers 300 acres. So they tested it with bat holes and um, uh, some uh, mule and animal drawn uh, residents to uh, clear the land. And you pile up your dirt. Um, here's a, a dirt pile up here. Uh, uh, maybe a natural mound. Trenches to show what's underneath the ground. Cut across canals. Cut across houses. And you can see some house shapes in some of these. All those are houses up there. And it gives you an outline of what the village used to look like.